Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing fine. I am Miss A and welcome to our Practical Research 1 class. In our previous meeting, we described the characteristics of qualitative research. And out of these characteristics, we're able to determine its strengths and weaknesses. We also illustrated its importance across fields. And today, we will discuss about research topic and research title. Specifically, we will discuss the following. First, choosing a research topic. Research topics to be avoided. Constructing a research title. And I will also give you a list of sample qualitative research titles. But before we proceed to our discussion, I wanted to get a notebook and list down five areas of your interest, like the following. Language and words, culture and traditions, biography or a life study of someone, novels, short stories, poems, song lyrics, political beliefs, or social issues. After listing down five areas that interest you, narrow down your list to three areas. Now choose one from your specific area of interest. For example, if you narrow down your choice to social issues, select a specific issue under it. Well, let me know the specific area that interests you and comment it down below. Do not forget to tell me your reason of choosing that topic. One of the most difficult parts in conducting a research paper for the first time is knowing where and how to begin. Of course, you begin with your research topic. The research topic is the subject or area to be investigated by the researcher. It also describes or serves as the research problem of the study. Moreover, Research topic is considered as the source of difficulty in conducting a study, and that is because of your own choice of the research subject. Sometimes, a research can be difficult because you choose a topic that is not possible to conduct, or the topic you choose is too broad, or sometimes you choose a topic that is not interesting on your part, so you don't have the enthusiasm to finish it. So, because of that, you have to consider some criteria or guidelines in choosing a topic. Number one, you need to be interested in your own topic. Because the more interesting your research topic to you, the more knowledge you can provide for your own paper. And besides that, it's easier to finish a study if you enjoy what you are doing. Meaning, you will be motivated to finish the study that catches your attention or interest. In choosing a research topic, it's also important for you to be aware of your environment and the people around you because in doing so, you will be informed of the problems that exist around you. And this is important because your research topic is not just considered as the subject of your study but it also serves as the problem to be solved in your paper. It's also important to consider your own or even other people's strengths and weaknesses because by doing so, you'll be able to provide information on how to hone one's strength or help someone who is not good at something. Before you finalize your research topic, it's important for you to check the availability of materials that you will use as support and evidence in your paper. This includes the primary and the secondary sources of information. As a researcher, you have to consider your own limitations. These limitations refer to location, uh, target population, methods or instruments to be used, time frame, or anything that may restrict or hinder you in conducting your own study. Other limitations include personal limitations like the level of understanding on the topic, financial status, availability of resources at home, mental and physical health, or stability. Finally, since you are also dealing with a problem, you also have to choose a topic that you're capable of solving. Meaning, you must have the capacity to work on the problem so that you can complete your work or study prior to the deadline. As a researcher, aside from knowing the guidelines or criteria in choosing a research topic, it is also important for you 
to identify research topics that you need to avoid. Number one, controversial topics. These are topics that depend greatly on the writer's opinion, which may tend to be biased or prejudiced, which cannot be supported by facts, like gun control, abortion, or religious freedom. Well, generally speaking, unless you know for a fact that the person receiving the paper will be offended, writing about controversial issues or topics can be okay. However, you need to remember that this is a research paper, and as such, it should be fact-driven and as unbiased as possible. Presenting your opinions or views on an issue, especially on a hot-button topic, can turn your research paper into a persuasive essay. You also need to avoid highly technical subjects, because when choosing a topic, you have to consider both your skill level and your audience. And topics that are very technical such as health, genetic engineering, and technical experiments on humans are difficult to write about unless you are an expert in the subject. And even then, it's easy to accidentally misrepresent or misinterpret detailed data. Remember that technical topics also run the risk of losing the audience in the details if readers are not in your specific area or field. You also need to avoid hard to investigate subjects. These topics do not have available data or reading materials, meaning existing materials or information may be obsolete or outdated. For example, you want to be updated with the number of population in a certain place, and of course, you would not use an article that was published 3 to 4 years ago unless you want to use it to compare with the present population or information. Remember that spending endless hours of searching for information about a topic isn't a good use of your research time. And you also need to avoid too broad topics. These topics prevent the researcher from giving a concentrated or comprehensive analysis of the subject matter of the paper. A topic that is too broad focuses on one important concept, and this kind of search will find thousands of results for you to look through. These are examples. Literature, education, and global warming. And you also need to avoid two narrow topics. These are topics that are too limited or too specific subjects, which will require extensive searching and reading. For example, impact of internet on media, gender versus sexual orientation, and causes of youth inactivity. In choosing two specific to topics, the information that you may include in your paper will be limited. Avoid vague topics because these are unclear or unfocused topics that do not have a definite problem, meaning this will just prevent you from having a clear insight and focus on the study. For example, the use of indefinite adjectives such as several or some, like some remarkable traits of or several people's comments on the RH bill or law. You also need to avoid played out topics because these are topics that are commonly used in essays, research papers, and other writing outputs. Well, it may feel like your research paper is provocative and unique, but keep in your mind that teachers and professors have read hundreds of research papers and most of them have probably been about the same few topics. Some played out topics to be avoided include bullying, same-sex marriage, and mobile game addiction. Yes, these are very important issues in our society. However, teachers have seen these essays or topics submitted time and time again. And unless you can offer a remarkable fresh perspective or opinion on these two common topics, it's probably best to avoid them. Now, after you choose your topic based on the given guidelines, you are now ready to construct your own research title. 
The research title is a concise statement that summarizes the main idea of your paper. Your research title should be original, concise, clear, and catchy. Your research title should be original in the sense that you should create your own research title so that it will reflect what you really want to do in your paper because your title should be unique and innovative. Your research title should also be concise and specific meaning it should be composed of 5 to 15 words because too short title will not be interesting for readers and too long title will confuse them. Clear title is also important. You need to provide a strong title and it should not contain information other than what you really want to include in your paper. You should not use confusing words. In a qualitative research title, you may use figurative words but it should not be too deep to the point that your readers cannot understand what you really mean in your paper. In quantitative research title, it is more direct to the point. Your research title should also be catchy. The title should hook the interest of your readers, and you may use catchy phrases or even trendy words so that you'll be able to catch the attention of your readers. Now for your re reference, here is a list of qualitative research titles from our former students. A Sketch of Life of a Successful Draftsman Cara Cruz, a picturesque illustration of a senior high school student. Nanay na si Nene, lived experience of a young mother. Challenges and failures of a rice cultivator. Broken family, a chess battle with a missing piece. LGBT Bahagharing kulay ng damit na sumasalamin sa pagkatao. Before we end this discussion, let me remind you that qualitative research enables the researcher to conduct and interpret studies about unknown topics to other people. And by following the guidelines provided in this lesson, and by consistently moving away from bias, the wonder of qualitative research is formed. That would be all for today. Thank you for listening.